What's going on guys? Storm6678 here. Um, we have a tutorial today. Today we are going to be talking about magic bullet looks. All right. First things first, you're going to want to download the plugin Magic Bullet Looks by Red Giant. I have it right here. I have a bunch of presets that I saved. But um, yeah, this is what you're going to want. It's by Red Giant Link or Red Giant, whatever you want to call it. RG, whatever. But um, Magic Bullet Looks, MBL, whatever you say, looks um, is a CC. If you don't know what a CC is, it is color correction and it allows you to make your videos very pretty. All right, It'll, It's what gives you that effect, that filter if you would say, like a filter on Instagram, that's basically what it is. Now you can get this by going on YouTube, searching uh, how to get blah 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 how to get a uh, magic bullet look so go into the YouTube search bar type that um, and download it before we start this tutorial but without further ado let's get into it so I'm working on a montage for um, team continue uh, you can follow on them them on Instagram at team continue um, and they have a YouTube as well team continue um, all right I need to stop saying um Alright, so this clip, I'm just going to be going over the very basics of Magic Bullet Looks, how I use it, what I do to make my videos look pristine, alright? So I'm going to be editing this clip, um, I'm going to be turning off the effects that I have on it right now so you guys can get kind of a better gist of it, um, and let's get into it. So, uh, right now, we have our clip. All right, I'm gonna go to a frame that I like think is very apparent. So like throughout this clip, there's a lot of build in front of him, right? We wanna make it so that the clip matches the CC and the CC matches the clip, all right? So I'm gonna drag this on here. My window's gonna pop up. Now you're gonna get this window, Magic Bullet looks, and it has nothing. You're like, oh, what am I, what am I doing? Nope, you press edit. All right, so once you press edit, the looks builder will come up. All right, you have a. If you go over here, hover over looks. You have a bunch of presets. These are just things I was messing around with a while ago. Um, but it comes with a bunch of CCs and stuff that you can use off the bat. So if you don't want to build your own looks, you can just drag and drop one from here. But that's not what we're gonna do. Um, I just clicked on that and if you want to reset you can click on this under basic and click clean start and there's nothing there. Alright, so there are three things that you want to focus on when you're creating a CC. You want to focus on the song, you want to focus on the scene, and you want to focus on like where your edits like heading to. Like if you're edit editing a trick shot you can have like a really intense, um, vibrant color correction. Or if you're editing something like this, which is a free building montage, you're going to want something a little less enhanced because there's so much movement going on, all right? So with the movement, you want something very simple, very basic, and very clean, all right? This clip is not 60 FPS, um, unfortunately, but we can still get a pretty clean look out of it and adding some RSMB will help it as well. Now, what I like to do is uh, you have subject, mat, lens, camera, and post. There are only three things that I really touch and that's subject, lens, and post. I don't really mess around with these two that much. Uh, it's a personal thing. Um, if you want, you can play around with what you like. It's completely up to you. Now, in order to edit this, you're going to hover over the tools section and you have all these tools, all right? Each tool differs from section to section. So for this, we have exposure, spot exposure, grad exposure, contrast, blah, 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 right? For matte, we have a similar start, but we have diffusion as well, gradient, um, warm, cool, some filters. But what I use in matte, Mainly is just diffusion uh, when I'm feeling it. Typically, I'll do that for a trick shot video. Lens, you got um, D flare, edge softness, chromatic aberration, lens distortion, haze. I use uh, these three the most the chromatic, 
uh, lens and haze slash flare. The chromatic, let me, if you double cl click it, it'll go onto your clip. Chromatic just makes that 3D effect. Um, but, and if you want to get rid of an effect, if you add an effect by double clicking and you want to get rid of it, all you got to do is drag it over the controls and it disappears. It's gone. Um, all right. Camera, we have a little bit more stuff, curves, saturation, shutter streaks, crush. Um, I don't really use crush, but that's just gamma stuff. It's not very useful. Um, typically on the, it's not this, post. All right, post is where the magic happens, all right? Uh, range, HSL, is what I mainly use um, in post. Every now and again, I'll toss on a... Uh, Telecine net, I don't, I don't know how to say that. Um, it just adds a little bit of contrast and pop, but that's only for certain clips that are a little bit lighter in contrast. All right, so let's get started. So if you want to make CCs like me and my montages, um, all you're going to do is, first things first, I come to contrast, all right? Now, a lot of people say, oh, your videos have too much contrast. If you look at my Break My Heart montage, you'll see exactly what people mean. It's There's heavy contrast. That's just how it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to do 0 0.01. All right. Uh, what? 0 0.1. Excuse me. 0 0.1. All right. And that adds a little bit of contrast. Anything more? You see, that's that's a big yikes. Going to press Control Z to undo that. But if we go here, here, no contrast, a little bit of contrast. It's like pretty clean. I fuck with it. Now, uh, I typically place curves, right? And I don't touch the RGB. All right, like a lot of people touch and play with those, but I just stay on the RGB uh, tab. And I do either contrast up or down, but we already put contrast on, so we don't need that. I put shadows low to make it a little bit darker, and then midtones high and highlights high. And when I say high, I'm talking 0.3. It's not like actually high. Like if it was high, like you see how that looks like that? It's a little too bright. But I put it a little bit higher just so it has a clean, like overall this is clean. So this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. It's pretty clean. So in order to see what it looks like without an element, all you got to do is press this power button on that specific element. Um, next, we're going to skip diffusion. Um, I only do that for trick shot videos. Lens. All right, here we go. So for cinematics and other scenes of that nature, I will typically add edge softness. This is a pro tip, guys, right? And you'll get this. Now, this is way too far in. All you got to do is boom. So it's at the very tip of the corners, all right? But I don't like adding it to clips because I think it looks weird. Um, I'll do a t more in-depth tutorial for advanced uh, Magic Bullet looks to describe, like, some other, like, things like cinematics and using Magic Bullet looks for effects. But for right now, we're going to toss on some haze slash flare. Now, it looks a little bit hazy, as it would, uh, you know, you would presume. But you want to turn the spillage down a little bit, around 29, 30, in the third, like 25 to 30 range. Uh, reach is how far it goes into the scene. I don't mind the reach being, like, pretty far. Um, you don't need to play with that. Now, this is the color. Uh, I wanted, like, a purple and pink vibe. Uh, for the music, so I'm just going to sauce that on there like that, and you can increase the intensity of this by going up towards the white or dragging down towards the black, all right, so you just click on it, and my cursor disappears, but click on it, drag down to make it darker or like less apparent, drag it up to make it more pop, um, I like it a little bit more pop, that's looking pretty clean, um, camera, not going to touch anything here, and then post. So for post, you can drop a warm slash cool in here, and instead of playing around with this, oh, that's trippy, um, just warm cool right here, you can make it cooler, as in more blue, or if you go negative, you can make it more red. Now, obviously, I don't want it to be that intense, 
but I do want it to be a little bit on the warmer side. So I'm going to do negative 0.1. The reason being, see that difference? The reason being is since this clip is more blue overall, you're going to want to do the opposite of it. Because if I do more blue, like it overruns the whole scene with blue. Get, adding a little bit of warm will kind of contrast that and make it look a little bit cleaner and nicer. Nicer to look at. Now here's the fun part, the ranged HSL. A lot of people, including myself, will literally just put curves and HS, ranged HSL on their clip and that's it. And that is perfectly fine. The one thing I like about ranged HSL is you can choose the saturation of which uh, color you want to pop. So say I wanted to do, you know that effect where everything is gray except for the color you want? The color that prom is prominent in this clip is blue, right? So I'm going to just take everything, set it to negative 100, cyan, and now everything is focused on the blue. Like there's a lot of blue in here, so it doesn't really look that different. But ready? Watch when I turn it off. See how it changes, especially right here on the leg? Now, we're not going to do that for this clip specifically, just because I was just showing you that if you have the blue or the cyan, you can turn that up. Uh, you can select the color that you want to pop in your, um, in your clip. So, all I'm going to do is, I don't really want the red to pop that much, uh, so I'm going to turn that saturation down, that lightness down a little bit. Uh, orange, I want that to pop a little bit. You just play with this to whatever you like, alright? You just play with the numbers, you go up, down, all around town, and you just figure out what you like, alright? Yellow, I'm going to leave alone. Green, I'm going to pop a little bit because there's a little bit of pop in it. Lightness, you can play with that too. It's all to your discretion. Like You don't have to have anyone tell you how your CCs are. Obviously, ops help, so you can make them look cleaner for certain clips. But if you like it, go with it, bro. You'll create a new style, and you'll be your own person. Blue, um, it's a little bit too much. I want to focus more on the purple, so I'm going to do plus 6 and turn the lightness down a little bit. Purple, I'm definitely going to pop that up to 44. And magenta... 34, make the magenta a little bit lighter to pop the pinks. All right. So hue, this column hue, you can rotate the hue to adjust for that certain color. So it only goes within a certain range. So this magenta, if you look right here, this magenta will only go all the way to red or all the way to purple. It won't go past that hue. Um, so if you want to focus everything towards a red like scheme, you would put it all the way to the right, excuse me, plus 100 purple all the way to the right and blue all the way to the right so it goes all these shift towards the red but control Z control Z control Z I don't want to do that so here's our CC I like it uh, you can either save it in look name so if I click on this um, sexy that's what I'm gonna call it you type in sexy press enter and then you will have uh, sexy in your custom tab and you can go from there but what I like to do is uh, so you press finished alright X that out um, actually no don't X that out so if you exit out uh, just click the little F on this uh, clip that you're editing and it'll still be right here preset where it says preset you're gonna type the name sexy and you're gonna hit this save button alright so what that does, it's going to save it in the preset tab. You go down. Oh, wait. There's no sexy. That's because you got to click on a different effect, click back, scroll all the way down, and your CC should be there. Now, this CC is specific to this scene alone. All right. I wouldn't say, so this scene, you see how it's a little bit lighter? If I drag sexy on top of this scene, it's, it's too bright, you know, too much purple for a scene like this. So you're going to want to make a different CC for that scene, or that clip, excuse me, that clip. Um, I do want to apologize for my mic audio. I have a shitty mic, but I can still relay the information to you. So, all right, let's uh, run this back, see what it looks like. 
press the way I did that was <clears throat> so I double clicked in between my key markers to get the render bar and then I just when these two arrows come up drag it to where I want it to stop actually I want it to stop around here and um, so this is a pre-render and the way to pre-render um, is pressing shift B now I don't recommend guys doing this who have laptops or lower end computers um, and if you do you are gonna want to make sure your quality is on draft quarter alright it's gonna suck but it takes up a massive amount of RAM to render preview and that's kinda why After Effects is difficult to preview in is because it render pre-renders in real time so when you play it back it's rendering as it's playing it back whereas in Sony Vegas you can pre-render when you want to but um, let's see what how that CC looks right here that looks pretty damn clean to me I like it let's go that is just sex on the beach one more time for the boys back home and boom hit that shot brother All right, so uh, that's basically it, guys. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, like leave it in the comment section below. Hit me up on IG. I know a lot of you guys hit me up for tutorials, things of that nature. I will be dropping a load more content because you guys inspire me to help everybody get better every day. I'm trying to get better every day. I am no by no means the best. Um, I appreciate everybody that supports me. And um, I hope you all have a great day. Hope you all took away from this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.